plane. Hold on. Come on. Moving along, buddy. Oh my gosh, would you just go? You got a lawnmower engine in that thing? Hey, kinfolk. So, holidays are coming up and there's gonna be all sorts of people shopping for your, your friends, your family, and even some good deals for yourself. So I'm gonna start up a review series and my first video is gonna be from the ground up, right? What am I talking about? I'm talking about shoes, period accurate shoes. And these are really high quality shoes for not a lot of money. These are from Viking Leathercraft and they're pretty tough. I've had these for five years and I haven't done any maintenance on it. The only thing I've ever done is just clean them up. I take the dirt off when I go to an event. Like I'll go to an event and it'll be covered in mud and I'll kick them off and leave them somewhere. But then I'll come back to it a couple weeks or a month later and brush them off and they're still going. They're still waterproof. They're waterproof right up to the ankle where these little holes are where it goes into the boot and it's waterproof well up to that point. And uh, I've stepped in mud up to my ankle and my feet were still dry. I haven't done anything to really uh, protect them or condition them. I just clean them off and that's it. I'm kind of going out of my way to abuse them just to see how long and how well they last. And they're comfortable. I've had some where the heel has blown out and the Viking Leathercraft boots have like a little reinforced heel where that leather sole goes all the way down down the whole uh, shoe so your foot's not going to slide out of it and I've had shoes that do that and it sucks I mean I've paid roughly the same amount without that heel and my foot just slid all around that shoe so I would highly recommend getting this style with the reinforced heel the two things broke on it and I haven't really done much to fix it so there's a strap here that broke but I can still tie it and it still works. And um, these are still going strong. You can clearly see some of the, um, the paint or the sealant is coming off, but like I said, it's still waterproof and it still works. Um, the other thing that's broke on this is the heels started coming off. And so I had to replace it with some nails there with my own um, upholstery nails. And I had to clip off some the ends of them I uh, glued it and just tapped them back in and they haven't come loose yet. They're just a really good shoe. So w these are like $80, they're really not that expensive. Um, I've seen some shoes for hundreds of dollars and I don't think you need to go out of your way to do it. Now I've heard from many people that have bought in those hundreds of dollars boots and they're well worth it. They have foot and knee problems and it really helps mitigate any kind of pain or discomfort they might be having with that. And uh, with these, um, there's no insole. So it's just straight hard leather when you put your foot in. So make sure that you have a uh, insole, little shoe insole and an insert, insole and an insert. That will help cushion your foot and keep you on your feet longer. Your, your knees won't ache as much after and your back will feel better and you'll have more energy at the end of the day. Um, the other thing it doesn't come in stock is that there's tread. Now this is my own um, tread, but you can get a lugged tread. I like um, this tread. I, it was like an old pair of hiking boots. I, you know, they were falling apart and the sole was coming off. So I just ripped them all the way off and glued them onto my shoes here. And it has an extra padding, you know, a foam padding in between the tread and the shoe. And that's really helpful. Um, I can run further and have more conditioning by the end of the day because of that extra cushioning. Uh, but that lugged option, you can get that on the website for $30. And that's a pretty good deal. You go to any other cobbler, they're going to charge about the same amount. And I would highly recommend it. The leather sole is just not enough. If you're on grass or cement or concrete, you're going to slip around. It's going to be an ice rink. So, and that's just an accident, like a pulled muscle or jamming your knee into the ground. It's not going to be comfortable. So I would highly recommend getting the lugged boot option. The other um, 
thing I would highly recommend is wool socks. Of course, I'm always recommending wool socks. That'll help cushion your foot too. But overall, I think this is a great shoe. This will last you forever. I can probably pass this down to my grandkids. The other thing is their customer service is really top notch. When Five years ago, I didn't have much money and I was saying, hey, can you make me some size 12s? Because at the time he didn't have any size 12s. And he says, well, you know, and this was deep into the you know, rent festival period events, like reenactor events, SCA events. I mean, he was up to his ears in work, but he was willing to make something by the end of the week and have it shipped to me. And by the time he had it ready to ship, I sent him the money and I had them like two or three days later. And I would highly, highly recommend them. Their customer service is top notch. They also have other things other than just boots. They've got pouches, they've got belts, they've got buckles, they've got armor. Um, they're on, uh, on Facebook and they're online. And I'm gonna post a link down below and right down here at the bottom, you can check them out. And uh, I always recommend them. I've been recommending them for years. People have asked me, where do I get my boots? Well, vikingleathercraft.com. I would, wouldn't go anywhere else. I wouldn't go with any other um, LARP supplier like Epic Armory or um, I, I haven't tried Berg Schneider shoes. And uh, I, would, I would highly recommend these though. Viking Leathercraft. So yeah, so this is the first among many review videos. So there are more to come. Um, make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe, comment down below and tell me how you like this if you want me to review something else. And uh, I'll try if I can save up some money and go get that item and just abuse it and tell you what I think about it. Also, um, yeah, I don't know what to say at the very end. So I'm just gonna end it. I'm gonna send you off with a be humble, be helpful, be honorable. Thank you for watching. Thank you.